Welcome back, everyone, to Old World Blues, a 5.0 update, Ashes to Embers, which we're playing as a Kingdom of Manitoba. Last time, we started off as the Duchy of Longenburg, um, but uh, now we're the Kingdom of Manitoba, and instead of going down the worst of our losses, if you want to read that again, please go ahead, as well as striking at the center, um, we're going to go with where no one goes anymore. The northern frontier has long held the most treacherous lands across the kingdom, the horrors roaming the neighboring blighted woods, frequently wandering into our settlements to wreak havoc. It is time for us to take some responsibility and fight back against these abominations. That journey begins by laying the groundwork for the battles to come and the wicked forest. No one's quite sure of the full extent of their depravity, hiding out in the blighted woods, creatures made twisted by unforgiving environments and perverted signs. Only the most loyal among the knights volunteer for the campaign. Those that shall return home will be celebrated as heroes for the rest of their lives. Those who do not stand or shall not will be remembered for such, uh, for as long as the kingdom stands. Yeah. Also, I'll be honest, I, this is uh, not exactly where we left off last time. I had to replay it because all the saves were broken and whatnot. So I also have, I think, Old World Blues tech expanded or something like that installed. So that's why we have actually a little more like, uh, tech here to use. And like I said, greatly expanded. Um, so it is what it is. I like using the sub mod. I just want to go to War 2. So. <coughs> and Naval Warfare. So we're pretty much where we left off, but not quite. Um, after that, cracking the Red Fern gateways. You know what? Why not? Red Fern is understood to be an especially powerful narcotic stimulant. In its pure form, it, uh, it uh, resolutely banned from circulation within the kingdom. Recently, however, our scientists were able to extract a hitherto hidden medical compound found to counteract even the strongest of infections. It may be vital to our success in the blight of woods. And the madness manifest reeks. The further we push, the more resistance we meet. The more blood we spill, we cannot and will not stop. We'll uncover the source of the horrors that blight our lands and put a stop to it, no matter the cost. Nice. And I do want to go to war. Quickly. Anti-armor tactics. Trying to race down this uh, land doctrine. And then an army of the future. In the back when times, Manitoba's banners would induce fear and ad admiration on the battlefield. Decades of nepotism and corruption at the upper echelons of the kingdom's military have since tarnished that reputation. But with Long and Bogey and commanders on the fore, we stand ready to capture that was which was lost. So, we're not going to go to war with the Old Believers just because they are allied with, um, actually, the Metis Conquerors as well as the Republic of Three Rivers, so. We do need to be ready for them eventually. Alec Weyburn? Sure, why not? Inspirational, my friend. Mysterious Stranger. He's a lifegiver, too. Okay. And we're pretty much ready. And good to go. Smiling Jack? Nope. I don't think he's going to be smiling too much more. Uh, uh oh, they have a dinner course here. Well, alright. Well, we have to do him dirty. So be it. Clamp down on autonomy, which I don't think we'll do. We'll get the followers here, too. Uh, send us some scavenging programs. Nah, we don't need them here with us. It's fine. We'll be fine. Uh, so we did flush yourself a little more. I have to do Alexander Wayburn. I mean, plus 10% breakthrough, plus 10% more soft attack, special force attacking defense, plus 5%. I've read about him before, so if you read about him again, please go right ahead. Um, it's just, that's just fantastic. He's very, it's very good to get him. Very strong. Primitive radios, it's still a little ahead of time. Industry, whatever we have here, it's fine, whatever. Losses, 28 versus almost 900. Nice. Oh, and there we go. Awesome. And then we'll go with the gateway. Of course, they're fighting too, so maybe we should wait. Uh, the Great uh, Manitoba Restoration, which I think I read last time, but as we begin rebuilding the Kingdom of Manitoba, it will be crucial to ensure that we're working with sound foundations. But succeeding on the home front will pave the way for smoother and better resource campaigns. To this end, whilst many of our destroyed duchies continue to exist in name only, they present useful administrative boundaries for a methodical reconstruction effort. Hey, so the Knights' glory, still very strong. Oh my God, oh, that's still good too. A lot of this is very good. So uh, let's go with research speed. We like researching this stuff. There you go. Nice. We need quite a few radios, economic resurgence at Hudson Bay City, which is also why I wanted to come up here totally, because I totally remember that they did have a trade node. Yeah, I totally remembered. Uh, cool. Stoon Tribes. Hmm. How long would it take for us to go to work? Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Army of the future. Why not? I'll keep making more infantry too. No big deal.
Cool, 14, not bad. And yeah, this one too. Same rough code war on. Oh. oh, that's nice. Lessons of the Rebellion. That would be bad. Duchy of Brandon. We're all gun the second's missteps and alien grips on the realm. Brandon has remained the king's seat <clears throat> of power for years. <clears throat> That's could be expected. The majority of Manitoba's most impressive mines, buildings, and commercial activities reside here. They'll play the foundations for our rebirth. Okay, Manitoba restoration. Nice. Well, the worst of our loss. We can read this again, I guess. Winnipeg secession nearly killed the kingdom. And were it not for the blood and sweat and tears of my men, it would have been if the end. And the rebels thought that even for a moment that clobbering would be the end of it, they've got another thing coming. And I also would like some more stability as well. Oh, let me do this one too. How much money do we have now? No, oh, 2018, that's not bad. You know what? I'd never do that. Well, actually, I almost never do that, but we could at some point. Uh, I'd rather do military sending bonuses right now. We don't have a ton of manpower, so. Improve ourselves, too. Ta da! Very nice. And we got our ships. They're doing well. Hopefully the gateway wins, but it looks like they're starting to lose now, too. Not our deal. Slightly more political power? Why not? Duchy of Brandon? Yes, please. Militia training? Eh, grab this because you can. Old world schematics? It's fine. Um, the Duchy of uh, Langenberg? Our ancestors fought and bled to lay the foundations that would elevate us to the throne. There's only one duchy, uh, whose name shall go down in the history for bringing Manitoba back from the brink. Longenburg, the duchy that never fell, of course. Good. Very good. So we got quite a few things here. Also, with that tech expanded, uh, cams are extremely strong, in my opinion. Very, very strong. Because it gives us uh, some... Eventually, give us some armor, too, I think. I could be wrong about that. Maybe it will give us some armor. Uh, we need manpower, too, now. Nice. Alright, so what else we got here? Worst of our losses, yes. Walled settlement. More population. Research speed, it would be bad. Two arms workshops would be pretty good too. Expand Yorkton's arms industry. Under father's stewardship, the city of Yorkton grew into one of the North's leading luxury arms manufacturers. With just a small investment and more hands-on approach, we could expand production to cater to even the lowliest of sol foot soldiers. Yeah, that'd be pretty good too. Welcome refugees home. As their successes over the course of the war for the kingdom, oh hello, mounted, subjects in the regions made for the capital in search of refuge from the advancing front lines. With the conflict at the end and Brand's infrastructure stretched beyond capacity, the time has come for assistance to return home. Well, we didn't get any sort of notification about this, so I don't like that. Um, give me some a little more, more time here, real quick. Well, here we're at. Now, oh, they haven't gone to war with us yet, which is great, but we're going to do the reclamation of Winnipeg. Our current forces will not do. Officers across the kingdom are scrambling to mobilize all able-bodied reserves. The cry is being heard up and down the settlements of Manitoba. Your time is now. King and country needs you. And restore the night's glory. Under the leadership of Gun II, the knights and their institutions have been effectively dismantled. Uh, those at the helm valuing its high-ranking officials. Undying loyalty uh, to me as a threat to their influence. With the old guard out of the way, the order can finally thrive once more. Alexander has already proposed a number of reforms to restore the kingdom's, kingdom's most formidable fighting force to its former glory. Uh, so in the meantime, we're going to tell these guys, yeah, don't don't die. Go home. Have a, have a drink. Have a smoke, I guess. I don't know. Something like that. Not bad. Real banners? It's not bad. I guess Kingdom Exiles. Uh, I'll go with Kingdom's Foot Soldiers. Nice. Goodbye, Imperial Banners. And I'll throw you right there, maybe? I'll throw two there and then throw another one uh, right there as we can. Let them get to where they need to be, our organization, and then we're going to attack because apparently the Iron Confederacy also joined them too. So, so our goal is to smash through the Metis Congress first. Hold them off. One, two, three, four. Well, you might actually be able to hold here maybe. Well, maybe not. Okay then. One, two. You can do that. And you would come here instead. And do that. There you go. That might be able to work, yeah. There you go. So we'll go to war with them and see what happens. Who else are they allied with? Oh, Moose Jaw. 
That makes sense. Oh, they'll come in soon, just a little bit too. There you go. So we're going to hopefully do okay up there. Um, oh! Well, that looks pretty good for us too. I'm okay with that. Now we're fighting these guys too. We're in a multi front war. Not ideal. It is what it is, though. Uh, let's take a look. See. Keep going in. Destruction of Mount Rushmore. Napoleonic Warfare is nice. Resource efficiency gain. Factory output. Training time. Consumer goods. Um, let's go with this one next. Field works. Why not? Yeah, we're doing okay over here, too. I guess there's a little border war here, too? Hmm. Alright, whatever. They're, they are our puppet, too. Which is nice. Albatross. So we get rid of some of these guys, that would be great. But I'm not sure how. I guess it could be made through the north here, too. But it looks like they're not. The gateway is still struggling a lot, which makes sense. But whatever. It's really nice glory. Reform the brass. I've lost track of the amount of raw talent passed over for promotion for the sake of appeasing some petty noble in the regions. Moving forward, senior leadership positions will be locked behind rigorous state exams and independent boards. It's the only way to separate the wheat from the chaff. What, what are you doing? You in there? Maybe. Uh, we're doing pretty well on this side, though. Mouth Congress has got really nothing on us. We're struggling here a little bit, maybe. Uh, please don't lose there. Please, you could easily get encircled, so please don't. There you go. Basic tools are nice. Um, Manpower's okay. We're gonna grab this next. Local workspaces. Nice. Because now we're missing a crap ton of radios. It's not even funny how many we're actually missing here. Leftover's good. Press a firepower. Yes. Good. You're getting in there. It's nice. All right, so these guys definitely have to be used a little bit more. Uh, you're gonna go here. You're gonna start running around a whole bunch, and just helping us encircle and destroy enemy divisions. Also, there is an air base at all? No. All right. Then from the other side, and that should help out pretty pretty well too. Because for the most part, we're still winning here. It's all right, but we got to win here, and we're not doing as well as we could here. We're about to get encircled too, which is not ideal. Spread out. No, no, no. Oh, crap. Oh, that's not good. Uh, you know, just give you another general. Let's do it. There you go. Well, why'd you leave? You didn't go. Yeah, at least we didn't get circled yet. From the brass. Good. Uh, Royal Air Force we could do. Let's do the Royal Road. The Royal Road was a project first conceived half a century ago by the Brandon family. Its initial intent was to connect the cities of Brandon, Longenburg, and Dauphin to bring the West economy up to speed with the industrial heartland of Winnipeg. Alas, the project was foolish. She never deemed a high enough priority to receive the adequate funding. But I know better. A house divided against itself will never stand. Very true. Very good. Harborg is very strong. The Metis Congress, not so much. We, well, we're working on it. Fine, right, hold. Oh, also, we need to expand these soldiers, too. My bad. There we go. It's all for these guys. And. Do we already make it by our teams? Yes, for now, that's fine. Oh, crap, that's really. Oh, my god. Well, mistakes were made. Cut those divisions off, you're going to come up through here. Uh, yeah, we're actually going to need stuff now. That was really bad. Really, really bad. You're going to force the fence. Screw these guys. Okay, well, let's just save those guys. You can go and retreat if you need to, that's fine. That's a lot of divisions, man. 
get those guys in place, retreat. And get, uh, is it Brandon? Get Brandon, yeah. Hello. My god, do they have a lot of divisions. Hey, these guys are doing better up there, though. Okay, you've got to win faster against the Metascongress. We're out of manpower, we're going to raise conscription level. Uh, Geminal army, yes. Field works. Heart attack. Command power, coordination, mobilization speed, I guess. Oh, well, they're split into two now. Can you do this and kill them off? God dang it, come on. God dang it. We need something here to work for us. Okay, so this keeps going poorly. I'm going to have to redo this off screen then. This is stupid. This is very stupid. I don't understand why the Arborg Junta, or not the Arborg Junta, but the Republic of Three Rivers is always garbage. Like, it's always impossible to kill them. They're extremely tough to beat. Must be the Land Doctrine or something, so. I'm gonna maybe look at this a little bit more off screen, and then uh, we'll go from there. And there go the old believers. This is much easier to do when you're much more aggressive with the Metis Congress in the beginning, and you actually use your special forces instead of just holding them back. Um, yeah, my bad. Uh, but at this point, whatever. I like to play how I like to play. It is what it is. Um, but yeah. Moose Jaw's almost dead. These guys are almost dead. This is actually looking a lot better finally, thank God. Um, it just took me a while to... Just have to be aggressive in the beginning. Just have to be very, 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 very aggressive. Uh, which still kind of sucks how large these guys are. And the gateway taking up some of our own territory because I guess the Iron Confederacy is probably there. Or something like that. Um, you guys come over here. Eleanor, you come over here too, just in case. Doesn't really matter too much. Um... These guys are going to make it over here, too. And that's the plan. This plan cultivation would be nice. Contact loss is not good. Um, go down two. What else we got around here? Rest and rescue team. That'll be good. Um, they always find them somehow, which is fine with us. So whatever. And Avenger Republican uh, Wars. Yeah. Uh, from east to west, from the, from the northern lakes to the capital city, a cacophony of clanking metal and patriotic tunes. The time has come. The lion, the lion roars. The Lord awakes. Royal Air Force. For the longest time, the outcome of war from the north would be determined by whoever wielded the bigger stick. But times are changing, and our enemies grow uh, cunnier and more resilient. Finally, introducing a proper saying, Air Force, uh, will give us a leg up we sorely need. Air yeah, Force. And we're just going to go straight on in. If you can, pile drive into them, that'd be great, but we'll see. Arbor, let's go Arbor, though. These guys are always very tough to beat up. But we'll see. Since we've taken up their allies, finally. Also, we do need to edit this template because I still haven't edited this one yet. Three, 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 three. Nice. Cool. Special forces are very special and very important. Should probably make more too. Left here is important as well. Uh, there you go. Sure. Yeah, I'll take, definitely take the radios. And we haven't mobilized yet, which is fine, whatever. Doing an army like we did earlier in the episode. Huh. Nice. There you go. After the Royal Air Force, uh, the open door for our old subjects. The war for the ki kingdom has claimed many lives, lives which we desperately needed at this critical juncture. Thankfully, a most obvious solution was brought to my attention. By adapting a forgive and forget policy towards the subjects of our breakaway states, with, uh, we should be able to encourage immigration from neighboring lands. This will strengthen the economy while crippling that of our foes. Oh, wait, who else is left then? Oh, these guys up north. Oh, we actually have to kill them, huh? Oh, man. And they return to Winnipeg. The guns fall silent at last. Peace reigns over my homeland. Never again shall blood be spilled on Manitoban soil. Ollie will make sure of that. Sure, General Staff, why not? Um, honestly? Hmm. Can you just go to War of the Gateway? Is there a, why do we know? There's not a waterway here. Well, I guess we might as well have a two-front war then. Well, at least that, we give them a two-front war at the very least. Uh, I think there's a lot of planes up here, so I guess why not? I suppose. How about settlements too? It's not great, but it's what we can do right now. Las Granjas, yes. Public projects, good. Extract stuff, even though I don't think we're lacking anything actually. It's fine. Just go ahead. See if we can do anything about, anything about that. Hey, North End. Nice. Okay, they're done. If 
I can just go in. And there you go. I guess that's how you do it. Dutchy Vongers. The Raiders and Mercs have set up shop on the lake shore left behind all sorts of rickety, half belt vehicles clearly intended for cowardly hit and run tactics. A typical. Nothing that cannot be represented in more noble ends, however. Yeah, we actually broke over the river. Look at that. That usually doesn't happen. Usually trying to fight over rivers really, 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 really sucks. There you go. Um, after that, let's see. Forgotten City. Yeah. With Brandon securing more and more under the table subsidies over the years, the city of Strathclair faced steady decline. Businesses migrated south, leaving the settlement to devolve into a little more than a ghost town. Yet another wound inflicted by the noble class, yet another rotten legacy I shall undo. Point of arrival, yes. Oh, you should probably go in and do something here. Doesn't need anything, right? Okay, so that was way better. You just gotta be extremely aggressive with the few divisions that we've got. I know. Hey, we actually have capital ship too. Look at that. Nice. Very cool. We got a couple scav uh, vehicles too. I guess a great stampede trying to beat the student tribes. It's fine. Um, after sending bonuses, and right now we could restore Nathaniel's watchman. I guess. Well, we got him. Welcome aboard, good brother Jan, graced by Leshy. General staff. Prepare for the future. That's oh, kind of a unique focus tree. That's kind of cool. So, our set's always wise. Grab some more output. Grab some more of this. That's fine. Who's next? I guess Uranium City. That, seems, that sounds kind of cool. Wow. Gabagool, you're looking kind of ghoulish. Generic focus tree, that's fine. And you're coming back over here. Nice. At least we got that one done. The perfect no, but it is what it is. And return to Winnipeg. That'd be fantastic. Five whole fighters, too. And then follow it up with what remains of the North. The Skyrim Blizzard, the Frost Lurks, the Endless Thicket. Some men would argue that. <clears throat> Make, taking a claim over this hellscape is a little more than a fool's errand. Some men would say it'd be the best to con be content with what we already have. Some men would rather go down history as mere footnotes. That is very true. Um, let's see, 8 minutes, 8 minutes, 16, 4, alright, not bad, pretty good overall, local leaders will get owner place later on, nice having a little bit of manpower finally, cultural advisors, renowned poet, 90 minutes or for a buck in a warm bed, faces of farmers, never forget who puts food on the table, I mean monthly population growth, we get weekly, man weekly 20 manpower, which is not bad, but still, uh, the golden mine of Manitoba, war has changed, we should change with it, brilliant determined and always looking towards, towards the future, Eleanor, is her father's daughter after all, and yet she possesses something the sword of the North does not, the ingenuity of youth. Of youth. She studied the events of the war of the First Republican Coalition thoroughly, and from the cool-headed perspective that Manitoba was grieving and resentful veterans simply could not muster, Eleanor ultimately concluded that the kingdom would be doomed to fall failed to both drastically overhaul in te technological capabilities and develop more agile, uh, medical tactics. Gunn did not heed her warnings. Would her father see things differently? Eh, depends on what it is. Any people's lives? Sometimes maybe, sometimes maybe not. Ah. Wow, okay, so we have tons of manpower now. Um, Goes to the lock. Nice. So no, I need nearly this conscription level anymore. If anything, do you get benefits if we go back down? So, a little more organization regain. Uh, even more organization regain. Better mobilization speed. Going here, small professional army. Oh, well, we, have, we can't go down this one anymore, so... There's no point going further up. I guess you get more daily command power. You lose mobilization speed, 20% political power. You get more special forces attack, though. So maybe that's not worth it. Oh, passing the lake. 
Lake Winnipegosis is eastern coastline is home to all sorts of wretched scum, ranging from garden variety raiders to semi-autonomous rump settlements propped up by the old regime. Clearing up the riffraff will make our water safer while strengthening our position against our enemies in the region. Oh, with Imperial Control Restore, we're getting a 50% core redu cost reduction to lands that once belonged to the Kingdom of Manitoba. We'll annex any lands historically held by the Kingdom of Manitoba that is currently owned by our puppets or allies, with the exception of the Abok Junta. The Kingdom has been restored to its former glory. I should be on this field celebrating with the men, yet I feel a little woozy. I shall get an early night in, and when I wake, it'll be a new day for Manitoba. Cool. Tons of factors, eh? Lance's failure, pursuit, not bueno. Um, good. Rapid redeployment's good, and we're doing a little land auction. Awesome. And we're gonna come over here and start working on some more of this stuff. Let's make our guys super strong. At least recover faster. Let's go over here, because I always forget this. So we're knightly order. Uh, popular officers, give everyone guns. Mercenary assistance, probably not. Knight training, not bad, not great. Train militias, eh, military first, lose political power, get more organization, recovery, and caps expenses, or old school tactics. Well, we're kind of using knights. Sure, it's been done a ton of times, but that just means it's tried and true. What more can you ask for? I kind of like that one. Uh, the new golden age is done too, which is good. Jewel of the old empire. Return of law and order. Uh, agriculture, Manitoba Dam. It's not bad. This doesn't really help us anymore right now. We're home. Manitoba's back. Oh! So... <sighs> the story will be told in due time. But when I did this as a pre-release, I went down Eleanor's route. Which is kinda cool. Um, you get sophisticated electronics and construction tech, which is awesome. So I think I might actually go this route instead. So, just to see what it's like. The fate of the Merc Settlers? You would not exactly want these gentlemen as your neighbors. Uh, bold attack, tenacious defense, power through nepotism, cash, fame, friendship, and blood. That's what uh, brings people to the top. Meticulous preparation, strategy, know how, or book know how, vast battle plan, organizers, experienced scout platoons, fight freedom, rush training programs. Only the strong survive. Take from the weak and give to ourselves. Take from the rich and give to ourselves. Only the strong should have everything in this world. I like that one. Cool. University of Longenburg. University of Longenburg holds the honor of being the first of its kind within the kingdom to open its door. Sadly, the, with the onset of the war of the Republican coalition, it would ultimately force them to shut down. With the grip on the region strengthening, we only stand a gain from reversing this historic embarrassment and the home of the Dukes of Brandon. Brandon is the most storied duchy of the kingdom, having been the home of many a Manitoban ruler since the formation of the realm. When takeovers undermine the dynastic status quo, even more so than the gun the seconds. In demonstrating our commitment to the well-being of the duchy, we have breathed new life into its economy while putting the concerns of the old loyalists to rest. Cool. And we're definitely going to expand out from here on out. Uh, motorized. Eh. It's alright. New York's. Or New York's. Yorkton's new bulwark. Ooh. Good demos. Surely you agree that it would be best, my friend. A Viscount O'Brien paced up and down the Royal Hall, Yorkton's words visibly irking the cruel tyrant. I simply want to ur uh, issue caution. Uh, my lord, I don't want to have enough men to keep hundreds of civilians safe. Yorkton barked back down almost instantly. I failed to see the issue. I've offered you a blank check to see this project through to the end. Arms and carfers, you have it. He walked up to the Viscount. I trust you can keep a record of your expenses, yes? I was under the impression of your lifestyle call for some accounting skills. O'Brien did not dare look eyes with the king. Um, as you wish, my lord, when can I expect the first batch of settlers to arrive? Yorkton sat back in his throne. You, they should start flocking in over the coming weeks. I'm sending some officials from Dauphin to organize a ferry service from your end. Promise them some decent accommodation. I trust you shall deliver. O'Brien mumbled under his breath, of course, my lord. With that, the fallen warlord shuffled out of the throne room. Yorkton leaned back into his throne. Even a wild beast could be put in its place when they're threatened with a large enough stick. The king thought to himself, and what better way to domesticate these hanger-ons than making them live alongside salt of the earth Manitobans? The good Viscount shall learn to heal. Ah, oh, look at that. More population. Not much more, but some more. Good, and we're expanding our industry and our population and whatnot. Fantastic. Also going to grab this more HP and recovery rate, which makes it even stronger, which I love, 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 love. So, yeah, we got a ton of manpower now. So now we're just going to steamroll through, hopefully, everybody. The only problem is it takes forever to just find other people, so...
and the town will also like annex the eastern marshes and whatnot too. Because we can. Happy August, everybody. Cool. Sure, why not? Well, how much money do we have? 800 some? We probably better start working on intelligence agents. Intelligence agents soon. Shouldn't we? Actually, got that there. That's Brandon looking. I guess technically here would be have these guys too. Dolphin. Um, Brandon over there. Ah. Oh, trade notes. You can look at this. Look at this too, huh? Cool. These guys are killing each other. Standing Rock would be nice. Church of the Salad would be easy to take out too. Um, I'll see what happens with Stoon first before we even touch them. This should be pretty easy overall, maybe? Well, happy September, everybody. Last Shell, yeah. Good. Ah, oh, the person in the defense, huh? Interesting move. Not sure if I'd really recommend that. Expand Yorkton's arms industry. Under Father stewardship, the city of Yorkton grew into one of the North's leading luxury arms manufacturers. With just a small investment and a more hands-on approach, we could expand production to a cater even the lowliest of foot soldiers. I guess we could. Help them out. Might not even matter. We'll see. Very good for MXP though. Still, more radios, huh? Wow. Very needy. Tons of firepower. We need a better. Demo teams too. Let's go with grenades. It's a little ahead of time, but it's fine, whatever. Cool. We're gonna go to war next. Church of the Salad. Probably two peoples after that. Uh, the Royal the Royal Science Exhibition. In an effort to promote the kingdom's technical prowess to the world, the Royal Scientific Commit advisors have proposed to Wilson ex exhibition in Lon Longenburg. War by when? November 18th. Uh, let's see. The Jewel of the Old Empire. Unbeknownst to our younglings, the original capital of the Kingdom of Manitoba was not Brandon, but Winnipeg. King Gun I, deemed it a perfectly positioned to hold the seat of power as such. The Imperial Palace and its court reside in the settlement to this day, albeit in despair, disrepair. Following the years of Republican negligence, you enter the legacy of the war to be corrected. Will again the Imperial Capital modifier. While currently there's no fact, should the city be returned to its former splendor, one can only speculate what great fortunes it could provide. And the return of Law and Order. With the restoration efforts winding to a close, we can afford to scale back in the size of our standing army. Several soldiers will be redeployed to settlements across the kingdom, large and small, to live out quiet lives, keeping their loved ones safe from everyday brigands and ruffians. Nice regards, cool.
Oop, she didn't have too much difficulty with these guys. Which you never know. The annual Royal Science Exhibition, Yorkton groaned as another batch of crown servants entered the throne room, carrying yet more stacks of submissions for entry into the first Royal Science Exhibition of Langenberg. Ever since the initial calls, for entry weeks prior, hordes of engineers, scientists, and let's be honest, garden variety inventors from across the room had made the pilgrimage to the Royal Palace in hopes of uh, earning their spot in the showcase. This is on top of the already numerous official submissions made by the King's team of scientific advisors. Oh, it started as a novel idea to bolster the kingdom's technological reputation across the north, and quickly spiraled out into an administrative nightmare that was distracting Yorkton from more urgent state affairs. Before the chief royal scientific advisor could make his way out of the throne room to bring in yet more submissions, the king grabbed him by the collar and yanked him to a corner of the hall. I'm beginning to suspect that a more clinical approach may be in order here. The bureaucrat let out a nervous smile. What did you have in mind, my lord? Yorkton scratched his chin pensively. Let us begin by setting a clear theme for this year's showcase. It may help us carve out a niche for ourselves and probably save us the paperwork, the king thought to himself. The crown servant responded enthusiastically, This is a brilliant idea, my liege. No doubt it would catch the eye of specialists from across the region. The king nodded, Very well then. Very, very well. And well, I want to do Yorkton's arms, so. Arms in, from Yorkton in every hand. Well, I'll see. Let them see how the rover machines. Do we manage to get those microchips working? How did the season's harvest fare? You're telling me about the latest excavation breakthrough? I'll go with that one. Why not? Special drunkard? Probably not. Resilient scavenger? Back to repair speed and resource efficiency gain. Uh, Northern Route CEO, the Earl Grey Company, which I think I went with last time, and Eric Yorkton. Well, I think we're going to go with this one, Trader Joel. Well, Joel founded the Northern Routes during the height of the kingdom's rule of Manitoba. Uh, the shrewd businessman, recognizing the growing demand for a stopgap servicing merchants making their way coast to coast. The subsequent fracturing of the realm, combined with wider regional destabilization, has since rendered the north a far less attractive destination for traders, leading to declining traffic and forcing the entrepreneurs to drastically downscale the company's operations. Now kept afloat in large part. Thanks to the activities of the neighboring Rivers League, most cannot deny the hub's glory days are far from behind it. Expand the capital. Our gaze has shifted south over the course of reconstruction efforts, and the storied city of Longenburg is long overdue for some love. The latest round of investments aims to offer the more employment opportunities across a wide range of sectors, the rest will fall into place. Armed from Yorkton in every hand. The fierce who creates the latest model infantry rifles from Yorkton are already making the way to the armory. Sturdy, accurate, and light as a feather, I expect nothing less, of course. Uh, West X Maddox? Nice. There you go. Of course we can take everything. Why would we not? Uh, you can all do that, except... You four right here. There you go. So you can do it. Max plan. You're a planner, my friend. And you plan a lot of things. Oh, okay, can't put invest in them, huh? Ah, uh, but okay. Wait, did it not get this one too? Heck. Are you a puppet or an ally? Oh, you're only allied? I might kick from faction and then add some later. Nice. A you want a crown? Under governance, the kingdom of Manitoba has prospered. We've built roads, towns, communities, and dreams. One of our advisors noticed today that while walking through Brandon, there's become a beacon in this wasteland, but it still isn't perfect. Bill Flaw, the imperfections, give a character to the jewel of nation's crown. It's spectacular indeed. Uh, more soft attack, yes please. Love the soft attack. Hmm, I don't really care about too much. We do need Stoon, the colonies beyond the shield wall. It shouldn't take too much longer for us to go to war with these guys, right? Yeah, about two weeks. The last of her lineage. Are you watching over me, Sophie? And the Duchy of Dauphin. Having gained full control of the Greater Dauphin coastline, it did not take long for a crown service to begin overhauling the kingdom's chronically underfunded naval program. It would be key to restoring military and economic influence over, wake, uh, over Lake Winnipegosis. Oh, yes, please. Yes. Uh, Realm poet. Professor of everything. Oh, that's different. We didn't have the Grand Director of Professor of Everything earlier. Oh. I guess it's a little bit time here first. Nice. And then... I guess I'll do Dramate next. Why not? Oh, they're fighting those guys, huh? They're fighting Dramate. Well, that wouldn't make any sense. Why are they doing that? I 
I think we should be okay. Maybe. We should get more plane stuff too. Got a lot of things to do in research, you know? Expand the capital. There you go. More recovery? Yes, please. We took the capital over there. We gotta get to Napoleon now. Flexible designs, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Sure. Why not? We'll be generous this time. We're fighting these guys next, right? Oh, they actually are fighting each other, huh? Well, whatever. Shove yourselves all right here. Only four tiles for all of these divisions, but whatever. It's fine. Restore the Royal Port. The Royal Port of Dauphin is surrounding, has fallen into disrepair following the devastating attack on the city of Dauphin during the tail end of the war of the Republican Coalition. Uh, the subsequent years of administrative incompetence do not help matters. We'll need to get things back up and running again if we wish to exert control or restore naval capabilities to any serious extent. George Cook? I guess we're cooking then. And, yeah. Medivac? Oh, we're gonna get down here. That's supposed to give us armor. Maybe not. No. You got armor right there. Oh, that's good. Lessons of the Rebellion. If there's one thing you get that a victory over guns crumbling regime has proven, that's that even Apache tenuous and hastily assembled coalition can best a mightier opponent. This will be critical to bear in mind as we move to some of the desperate tribes hugging our borders. Absolutely. Go in, it'll be fine. Seventeen percent versus eighty-two. The Duchy of Dauphin. Thirty-five percent. Old World Blues. Not quite 55%, but we're getting there. Take more territory, take more uh, land. That's all you really need to win a war. There you go. Hello? There you go, we'll be generous. We can have at least one tile, or maybe not. Or maybe we won't be generous. I guess we're not generous. I don't really care. This actually makes it really nice. For one solid front line here. Yay! There you go. Vehicles. Cool. And the last of our lineage. Our legacy is secured. Let's go with the. Uh, I don't know. The Grand Rector. Uh, Anti intellectualism sows the seeds of societal collapse. Having just graduated as class valedictorian prior to the outbreak of the War of the First Republican Coalition, the Grand Rector was among the few young Manitoban men at the time to avoid the front lines. Instead, he was handpicked by the king to serve in his cabinet as a crown servant, climbing the ranks, eventually becoming chief scientific advisor. The fall of the regime did not impede his career progression. Men with the right combination of smarts and experience are hard to come by, after all. Today, the Grand Rector leads the University of Langenberg with tact and discipline. His years as an administrator are manifesting themselves in the form of higher student intake and test results. Cool. 
Her legacy is secure. As you worked and passed from village to village across Longenburg, I always met with those of the smiles of his subjects and the prosperity of his settlements. He asked Alcander to join the Knights' latest patrol on the Duchy, a special biannual ceremony designed to both survey the region and showcase the army's upkeep to the people. By now, routine event to the residents of Longenburg, the king's presence on this occasion appeared to have drawn just about every side seer out in the freezing cold of Manitoba. A thought struck Yorkton as he took in the view. All the work he had done since his takeover, all the sweat he had poured into holding the kingdom together, he had barely time to give the duchy a thought. And why should he have? The foundations had already been laid decades prior to Sophie's long reign having brought on countless public works and technological revolutions and new economic opportunities. All he had done really was simply ensuring that these systems continued to run as intended and were a possible export to them to the wider kingdom. This is all you were all along, was it not, Sophie? This is why you have chosen me. He thought to himself, even in her last moments, she knew that Yorkton's limitless ambition would be the best vessel for her vision, and at least for now. History had proven him her right. Her legacy was safe, but it would not be truly secure until the lights and hopes of Longenburg shone across the north and in the starry night sky above. And for now, that more work would need to be done. All Yorkton could hope for was that she would continue to watch over them for what was to come. Cannot let these men see me like this. Hey, 95% stability. Very nice. Let's get ready to go to war again. Nice. They're still killing each other, so maybe safe haven's next. Oh, Stoon is looking fat and thick. We like it. Yes. They do have cavalry on here, but they've only 17 divisions max. Which, in my opinion, is not very smart. The Academy of Royal Science. Conventional weaponry alone is not enough to win wars, especially in times like these. If we hold on to what we have fought for, Manitoba is to seize its place on the cutting edge of military innovation. And that process begins by giving your next generation of scholars a place to uh, thrive in. If it funds, apply once the focus of where home has been completed. Okay, research slot. Restore the Imperial Palace. In the north end of Winnipega, Winnipeg lies the ruins of the Imperial Palace. The rubble left for all to see is a pathetic Republican propaganda stunt, and yet, here we stand again, while they hang from the light post. Let us scrub what little is left of the memory. And Winnipe Winnipegian, Winnipegian industry. Being the beating heart of the kingdom since its inception, Winnipeg has been home to many of their predecessors and desperate concerns. Under the Republicans, this honored tradition came to a halt in order to restore what was lost, we shall pour everything we have into the city. That's cool. Awesome. I see, uh, I also forgot about this too, so, and I also want some planes. That'd be nice. How are we doing here? I'm not even paying attention. Well, it looks like there is an encirclement of some sort. They lost a thousand. They've got the three to four divisions left. Fantastic. Good job. Cool. We're looking pretty good. We're very vertical. Eastern marches, huh? How much autonomy do they have? Because I would like to lower it gradually now. For here, well, West Tech schematics, power armor would be nice, but that doesn't really fit us very well. I, and I always choose. I don't ever use blimps. In my opinion, they just take too long to produce. I always use Victoria Flyers because I love, 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 love cast. So, Canadian Socialist Republics. UCSR. Huh. Alright. Big old long border here. Good luck with that. Good luck with that too. I definitely have to go up there. See what you can do about that. And I guess Eleanor would just kind of hang out and kill people too? I suppose. Uh, when does this expire? 20th of July. Fantastic. Okay, they demand territory. Just in time. Oh, great. Well, 
All right. Before we kill them all fully, they have up to 30 divisions. Not bad. Um, the House of Union of Canadian Middle Socialist Republics. Who the heck are you? Ekaterina Donskaya. Torchbearer of the Revolution. Mournful. Oh. Huh. Okay, we got Rep City too. Oh, they're just finding other people. Let them kill each other off first. Middle Mark. Safe haven, huh? Nice. Cool. Steering tribes, so oh, who are they led by? Oh, Bea. She survived the Scarlet Blizzard. Interesting. Advanced tools, nice. Oh, let's get some better fighter planes too while we're at it. Then eventually we're home. It took an intense industrial shock therapy to bring the capital back to what it once was, but the resulting splendor is undeniable. Come one, come all, Manitoba's banner flutters, flies, or banners flutters, probably over the story city once more. Well, look at all that, that's awesome. Turn of the law and order the Manitoban Dam. Another stewardship of the brigands of the north. The ra oh, bad. Uh, the grand, uh, something. The Grand Rapids Dam has unsurprisingly fallen into disrepair. But our volunteers key asset, we can stand to generate plenty of new jobs, drawing in eager, ambitious workers from across the kingdom and beyond. Nice. Mm. You yeah, can do that. It's only one division, so. There you go. Have fun with it. Sure, if you need to. I guess. I don't know. It's a lot of manpower we have to use for putting down people or whatever. How's this train up doing? Oh, get court. From what they know, too. Nice. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Stoon. Cool. And Gray Stable, huh? Plant attackers are very nice, yes, yes, yes. Uh, there you go. Safe haven, no? Definitely need to play a safe haven. Definitely, definitely, definitely need to. There you go. Boop, boop. How many do we have, actually? Oh, we got tons of money. You know what? Promote all the nodes if you can, if you need to. How many divisions do these guys have? Four to, okay, four to seven. That's not very many. It's actually very pitiful how many they have. Or few, how few they really have. Honestly, they don't have a port here, so we don't need to worry about this taking out this territory. So, I guess you really want to join them. You could. Power through nepotism. Okay, why not? Screw it. Why not? Better protector, huh? It's weird not looking down here. I don't look down here very often because I'm playing a lot in the north. So, hey, safe haven. Good job. Now let's make sure we are aimed up north towards these guys here. More defense would be nice. Even better planes finally, yes. There you go. Winnipeg and Industry. 
Doctrine of Law and Order, Basic Laser Weaponry. Yes. I don't need industrial support, but that's okay. How many more days must we wait? Just a little few more days. Basic training appointments, very nice. Vehicles. Uh, right, oh. Oh, wow. Oh, economic resurgence of Safe Haven. Oh, Safe Haven was a train on two, huh? Poor old Safe Haven. Wow, literally no consumer goods right now. Happens, you know. Return of law and order is good. Uh, what is this? Resettle Absalom. Well, the settle resettlements of the former Duchy of Absalom is now in full swing. Already, some of our most ambitious pilgrims are adapting tried and tested farming techniques to those once secure slants. Land the foundation for a fresh start in the kingdom's frontier. Oh, hello. Coover and Pascal. Oh, God. Don't tell me they're all major powers. Please don't tell me they're. Oh, God dang it. Pascal Bizarre. Oh, that's gonna suck. Ooh, that's kind of disheartening, seeing that, yeah. Oh, they're attacking us too. Of course, we're fighting over a river as well, which is not ideal. It's alright, make it bloody. So I'm going to win for the most part all over the place here anyways. Eventually. Camrose, huh? I guess we could start acquiring things if we really needed to. That's not really worth acquiring, is it? Regina is, though. This job's pretty good. Resettle in the city. Although quietly abandoned amidst the chaos brought on by the Manifest facility, the Hudson Bay City still holds the remnants of some of the kingdom's most developed trade and commercial infrastructures. As soon as the word of the king and the night's successes and exploits reached the capital, hundreds of the subjects got the scent of opportunity made for the ruins of the settlement in search of fortune. Nice. See, investments for their settlement. A home lacking the right foundations is just destined to collapse in on itself. We're settled the countryside. Few settlers were initially co uh, concerned. Uh, are compelled to venture into the deepest recesses of the woods, perhaps understandably considering that some of the horrors brought on by Manifest yet um, uh, lingered in the shadows. Nevertheless, promises of cheap land and generous plants or grants prove sufficient incentive for some of our uh, braver pilgrims, the last of the imperial lands. The bulk of the kingdom's former lands are home to the red blood of Manitobans once more. But the kings they sleep soundly, knowing the traitors and enemies will continue to hug our frontiers? I certainly cannot. You must have completed the de ending debt chief focuses and a lifetime of war. The Nomads. Oh! Uh, the natives of the Iron Confederacy have a history of being chased out of the lands they settled for one reason or another. A worse neighbor than one with nothing to lose could you could not find. The colonies beyond the shield wall, in the golden years of the kingdom, several colonies were established along the shores of Lake, well, Lake Winnipeg in an attempt to settle eastern Manitoba. The land's communication fell apart long ago, and efforts to reestablish them were not forthcoming, just on what the earth is going on out in the east. So, and then the banners that brought down in Manitoba. Our latest reforms are already bearing fruit. We only stand in game by taking things one step further. The more skilled squad leaders will be afforded greater autonomy on the battlefield, letting your investments and ingenuity determine the outcome of the battle. But I think we're not there. We're going to keep working on this off screen. Uh, it's actually making us rack up quite a few casualties, but the more we can defeat here, the better and easier it'll be on overall. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video though, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out more does. Just go and link in the description below if you haven't already, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll continue expanding. And see what else we can do with the Kingdom of Manitoba. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.